Shut up and sit down. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, welcome to Chris's Talking and if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe because this channel is um, heavily anime slash otaku related and then when I'm not doing reviews and manga reviews, I'll be doing videos like this and this video is titled The 5 Different Types of Otaku Fans or Anime Fans. Um, I'm probably going to change it to Anime Fans because otaku means the general gist of that kind of stuff but um, this is mostly the Anime Fans and no, there aren't only five, but these are the five that I feel stand out and they will obviously have the subcategories and I will go in a bit more detail in some of them. But yeah, so let's do this. All right, so now um, we have the first one, which um, they're not in any order, but this is the first one and I call them the classic. Now, this doesn't mean the old school or anything, but it's just the classic one that everyone generally seems to think of when you think of anime fans. And those are the ones who started on watching Toonami and CNX when they were around 11, 12 years old. And they, um, like the, most of the girls would watch like Sailor Moon and stuff like that. And the boys would watch like Beyblade and everyone watched Yu-Gi-Oh and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, this is just the general classic um, anime fans and this is the subcategory this is the category that I fall into because this is the one where I realized I actually liked anime now I'm not saying that when you start the people in this category only started here but this is the point when they realized that they were actually quite heavily involved in anime so that's myself so this is the classic one that's number one Number two is the veteran. Now, the veteran is usually almost around 30 years old. Now, I'm 25 years old, so I'm not really too far away, but around the 30, so these are the people who started with the original Dragon Ball. The Dragon Ball, now if you guys don't know, Dragon Ball Z, the Dragon Ball franchise has been out for over around 30 years, if I do think so. And even Pokemon's been out for quite a while. There are quite a few series out there, which you may not realise that only got came into the Western world properly, like into the, um, the States and uh, the UK and all that. Like after they were out, so we were watching rehashes of Dragon Ball Z when we were kids and we didn't even realize that this is almost like kind of like watching fresh prince of bel-air you don't realize that when i was when we were watching i'm saying we like i'm, I'm guessing y'all are around late teens to early adults kind of thing you could, you could be older who cares but what i'm trying to say is that it's like we the veterans are the number two so those are the ones who what this of the north star Ninja Scroll, all those hardcore things, Spawn maybe, like I'm talking like real veterans, stuff that you won't even know, like the Jojo Bizarre Adventures, the original, the original. Like those kind of stuff. Number three of our super otakus. Now, all right, here's the thing. The super otakus are the ones who will go hard, will go hard in the paint of a cosplay. If you ever go to those Comic Con things and like uh, the anime cons and all the MCMs and all those kind of stuff, you will notice the super otakus are the ones who will know every single character about every single person, watch every single series, knows that every single background. And somehow it's like, when did you start watching it? You're only 16. But now these people, they were probably the ones who, when they were younger, back in the day, they would have been the ones who were maybe bullied upon when anime and manga weren't popular now i know it sound, sounds kind of crazy sounds kind of crazy but even if you guys still think anime and manga aren't popular right now it's actually quite e a lot easier to talk about this kind of stuff in this day and age back in the day when i was in school um, I, I was aware of anime and manga but i wasn't really that i didn't really care about it i just like cartoons so for me anything animated i liked <laughs> cartoons anime manga wh whatever i'd watch it but now the super otakus like they are the ones who like they were pretty much like the, the grunges of the goths and they had like all those hello kitty stuff and whatnot like i mean they went hard from when they were like some next crazy ages and they were probably the ones who actually introduced you to anime or who, or who you may realize wait a second i've like when i introduce people to anime 
and I'll explain this. So like when I introduce people to anime, they go, oh, I don't really watch anime, I don't really watch anime. But then when I show them things like Death Note and then... <laughs> Realize, oh yeah, I think I've seen this. When I was a kid, um, some girl showed me this. Super otaku, super otaku, super otaku. Yeah, those people right there. Those are the people who would have watched it from way back before it was mainstream, before it was all hyped up. And you got a shout out to those people for still going on from back in those days. Respect y'all. Number four is the. I don't really like anime, but my little brother or my little sister or my friend show me it. Or I think I watched it when I was at a family friend's house. Or oh, I don't really watch anime, but I watched the thing with um the anime with with the giants and, and the wolves. Like get yeah, oh that one um the titan on the attack. <laughs> I, I know it sounds kind of stupid, but yeah. Then there's those people. I don't even know what I'm gonna tie with that, but that's gonna have a nice little like number four right there. But the I don't watch anime, but. That's a good title, but I don't watch anime, but now we all know those people. Now in this day and age, I keep, why am I saying this day and age? It's not like we're in some crazy day and age. Now in this day and age, everyone is slowly conforming to anime. As anime is now becoming quite cool, almost to a point of where before to find anime, you would have to really dig dirt. You'd have to get that older brother, that older cousin to find them dusty, get out those, those old anime and you just be like, yeah, oh my god, yeah, yeah, oh, don't, don't, don't show your auntie, don't show your mom and dad, but yeah, here's, here's some anime. From my liberty, look at the history, how they treated us through the centuries, like an anime, animals on the given annual holidays, representing hardships in the village. That's not enough, what the fuck, we're getting comfortable now? Look at the animals, the industry is taking our crowns and tarnishing our soul. We're flattening the gold, our souls are under soul for what's in my present pieces of metal value changing with time. Open your eyes, we need to rise. What? But now you can watch anime anywhere from bloody, uh, what's it, Netflix that has anime everywhere. Crunchyroll is almost on everything. This is not a sponsored advertisement. I'm just letting you guys know Crunchyroll is on fucking everything. I remember when um, I first had Crunchyroll was online and then suddenly it was on my friend's PS4, it was on the Xbox, it was on this, it was on that. So yeah, so you can literally find anime anywhere. And because of that, some people actually even end up clicking on something that they recognize the title for. Or if They've been showing it. This is how sometimes they get into anime. Like, uh, my best friend, you know who you are. I'm not going to name drop. But <coughs> like, um, this is how he got into anime. So, yeah. So, like, those are, I don't watch anime, but, and then they end up turning into the slow veterans. They, like, literally, all of these people, they can actually mix a match because of their experience, or if they've been shown the right stuff, the right anime, then th this is what can make them actually fall deeper into anime. Because obviously, anime isn't. A simple thing it's subjective there's so many different uh topics and genres and stuff that i literally implore you guys to if you only watch one style do check out the other ones now i grew up only watching shonen as i got older i realized shonen's kind of boring don't hate me to a point i love stories i did english literature and language when i was growing up and I'm, i i i've read loads of books and stuff so for me i want a bit more than just the i'm gonna become the Hokage, I'm going to become the Pirate King, I'm going to become the this, I'm going to become the that. Like, we know their goals and we know we're going to make their goals. And it's like, eh, unless the story is actually that good, things like Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood are show are animes that actually kind of go beyond that and let you experience more behind that. Now, obviously, uh, I'm not hating on One Piece and Naruto and all those kind of stuff, but what I mean is that I can just watch those quite casually. Recently, I've been watching Seinen series like Psycho Pass and um, and other things like just to really kind of get me more hooked the storylines they're just there's the sense of despair i love the sense of despair when i'm watching a series because now i'm like shit how are they gonna get out of this how are they gonna get out of this but yeah that's uh, number four and number five is the skeptic now the skeptic sounds kind of weird what does itch myself it's kind of weird but can you hear this now the skeptic is the one who will almost never watch anime probably won't ever watch anime by themselves but if they come around your house, I guarantee you, they're going to watch whatever episode of that you're on. Now, it doesn't have to be like, it's a bad thing. Now, uh, I'm a skeptic of other series when it comes, not, so not just anime, I'm, my equivalent is Game of Thrones for me. I, I liked Game of Thrones, I watched season one of Game of Thrones, there was nothing wrong with Game of Thrones, but 
I didn't really watch it in my spare time. Not because there's anything wrong, but because I was just like, ah, I don't know. But whenever I'd be around friends and then they'd be like, oh my God, this really good episode happened. And then they'd just watch it. They're like, do you mind? I'm like, you know what, just put it on. And when they put it on, I'm like, God damn. God damn, it's actually a really good episode. But will I watch it by myself? Not really. So that's the kind of my example of what I mean by the skeptic. There are some people who... They won't go out of their way to watch a series, but now they will appreciate a good art style or a good fight scene or a good this or a good animation or a good soundtrack or there's something in that episode or in that series that makes them enjoy that series. So now that's what I mean number five. So let's just go through them. Number one is the <laughs> classic. Number two, the veteran. Number three, the super otaku. Number four, the I don't really watch anime, but... And number five, the skeptic. Now those are the five and the Obviously, the, the subcategories in between them. What did you guys think? Where do you guys fall into? Uh, obviously, some people do weave in and out, in and out. I actually was all of them at some point. I was kind of skeptical about horror series because I wasn't too fond of those. And then as I got older, I started realizing show me the horror, show me the guts, show me the gore, show me the uncensored shit. <laughs> So yeah, so that's pretty much that. What do you guys feel? Do you guys agree with this list? Um, if what are your what is your list? You know what? In the comment box down below, write down your list. Let me know what you think. What series got you into anime? Uh, personally, the series that really got the seri series 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 the series the series that got me into anime was actually Bakano. If you have a watch Bakano, watch that shit. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Samurai Champloo. Uh, da, 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 Afro Samurai, you know, everyone knew about Afro Samurai, and he has an Afro, and I have an Afro, so, you know, win. And, da, 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 and what else is there? I don't know. Like, I mean, I watched Dragon Ball Z and stuff, but it was not what got me into anime. I was, just, I was just a kid. So I think those are the ones that really kind of stick in my mind. There are a few others, but yeah. Let me know what are yours down below, and obviously say hello to the minion behind me. Why? I don't know why. The minion, I like the minion. Who doesn't like a minion? The funny, the random, um, random and um hope I'm funny but yeah hope you guys enjoy do subscribe do check out my other videos um i'm gonna post a link somewhere here somewhere here like a video i did of how to get your friends into anime which will be like a really good video personally i enjoyed making that video and i hope you guys enjoy watching that video i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and hope to see you guys around don't forget to subscribe because then i can make more of these videos for you guys and share and hit that thumbs up like this you don't have to hit this one, but the one that's on um, fucking fell. The, the one that's that. You know what? Anyways, have a good time, guys. Chris is talking. Peace.